What's up? Please believe me, I see Riri, I'ma eat it like Panini. So, you know what I'm saying? You can tell by the title, you already know this is going to be a freshman advice video. Disclaimer, because a lot of y'all ain't going to agree with what I'm saying. And it's cool, but the video is mainly for my brother who was winning his freshman year. He told me to record this video. So I'm doing it. He said he needs some advice. I said, this is going to say good. I said, I got you, bro. I got you. And I got other siblings under him that's going to freshman year. I got cousins, uh, look, little people who I talk to. I got a lot of people, but like friends that's like younger. You have to associate with it. Say it wants some advice. That's what it's for. If you watch it and you're not one of those people where you don't agree with what I'm saying, don't give a fuck. Won't give a fuck. Ain't gonna give a fuck. Just let you know that right now. So don't waste your time saying that. That's not true. Da, 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 da. No, I don't. I don't get no fucks. I'm telling you right there. Right now, off the bat, keep me in the book with you. But anyway, so this is a freshman advice video. Freshman tips. The stuff you need to know, or that I think my brother and them should know about. Being a freshman, what to look forward to, what to do, what to avoid, all that good shit. So, brother and other people, the first thing you need to do, Matthew, I'm gonna address them in this video, is don't be bringing buku shit to school. This for everybody. Don't bring buku shit to school. Like, it's okay to buy buku shit. Like, I mean, you wanna buy the shit. It's better to say than sorry, but don't be like, don't bring all this shit to school on the first day. Like, your teacher's gonna tell you, you need a binder for this class, spiral for that class, and composition book and a pen, and all that, boo, boo, boo. Cool, cool, cool. But don't don't bring that shit to school. Like, you just gonna look stupid. <laughs> on the first day, you bring all that to school, you gonna look stupid. I remember, I remember my freshman year, this girl bought some Kleenex. I'm talking about everything. I'm like, we is not in pre K, baby girl. Now, in sixth grade, fifth grade, if you bought all that shit, you was popping. You know what I'm saying? Ninth grade, them upper class is gonna clown your ass. Them ninth graders gonna clown your ass. You bring that shit, so I'm telling you, don't bring that shit. If you made that mistake already, sorry for you. <laughs> but nah, that I said off the bat because I felt it was funny anyway. It wasn't funny. Okay. Number two, girl, get enough sleep, cause baby, baby, when I tell you I did not sleep at all throughout the whole high school, like I was in, the, I was in every class like this. I was like slumped in every class. Most of this shit that I'm telling y'all to do, I didn't even do. I wish I did it or I knew to do it, just didn't do it. So, you know, Matthew, learn from my mistakes, brother. Big Red, my other brother, learn from my mistakes. Trey, Tree with Morgan Tate, learn from my mistakes. Cause, bitch. I ain't gonna get into all that, but you're getting no sleep, cause you know, sleep is important, they say. Let me see, what else I say? Oh, girl, baby, Matthew, Matthew, Tree, Betray, all y'all. If y'all get an F on one test grade, do not assume that you just, don't don't, don't give it on a whole class. You know what I'm saying? Because I did that, uh, I think, sophomore year. My grades was good. You had this one big ass test, and you fucked up my whole grade. I was like, no, what, fuck this shit. I, I don't care. It was always history, though. I always feel history. I was like, no, what, fuck it. I don't care. I, I don't care. Put me in some school because I don't give a fuck. But, <laughs> but yeah, I was like, no way. I ain't finna try no more. My grade done went down to a D. Fuck it. Throw some D's on it. No, something I'm sorry. Anyway, I got a lot of energy. I don't think that Dr. Pepper. Hey, this shit was nasty as fuck. How y'all drink Dr. Pepper? It's, never mind. This off topic. <sighs> Matthew, y'all. Time management is key, my nigga. Like last night. You was in there doing homework, but you weren't really doing homework. You just sitting at the computer texting and shit. Like, I'm going to do it in 10 minutes. 10 minutes came, like, an hour later. I was like, bro, you going to do it? Well, you don't listen to me, though. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I did not manage my time. And that's why I barely graduated on time. I graduated in my graduating class, class 18. Yeah, woohoo, hooray. But I barely made that bitch because homework was not my friend. <laughs> time management was not my bestie. Like, I was, period. It's like that. But I, I wouldn't go home. Baby, time management. Baby. And then you play sports too? Baby, tell you. You better get on that shit. You ain't trying to get a job? Big you trying to get a job. You, you a junior, so you ain't trying to get a job. Play football and make good grades in school. Time management is your best friend. Time management is sleep. Because your ass do not like to sleep. Time management and sleep is your best friend. Fuck is y'all looking at? Damn. People just be staring at me through the fucking. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Matthew, uh, another thing for advice, I think you should come up with a game plan for this school. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what classes you got now, you know what classes you want to take in the future. You want to take forensics. You got to take, a, I think, a chemistry class in order to get into forensics. You want biology right now. So I think you should map out, like, okay, I'm going to take biology this year, chemistry next year, forensics junior year. Like, map out, like, your classes. If that makes sense. Some of y'all might not agree with this. Some of y'all might be like, this ain't college, bitch. But this ain't for you, bitch. Okay, no. But now this ain't for you. This is my brother. If you want to take the advice, you can take it. But Matthew, y'all, I think you should map out, make a, make a, a game plan for high school. Cause that's what I'm doing for college. I did that shit in high school, but I didn't. I, I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I made a game plan. I don't do this. I'm just gonna do that. Maybe I didn't. I threw the whole game plan. Throw the whole game plan away. Let's play not for it though. Yeah, I didn't. No. Okay. Um. Matthew, when the, when the bell rings for you to get to class, don't run. Like you just gonna look stupid. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. You're gonna look stupid. The upperclassmen gonna trip your dumb ass. You're gonna look even more stupid. And then you're gonna come home and tell me what happened. I'm gonna laugh. You're gonna look even more stupid. So don't run in the hallway. You got five minutes to get to class. And I know Beckham and Campus is kind of big or whatever, but baby, when you're on your way, you'll get there. Stop talking in the hallway. Talk to these little fast ass girls. Get your class to class. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Oh, Matthew and Beckham, they have Charlie lockouts. So let's say. One day they have an automatic toilet lockout. If you let the class, they all class, all the class doors shut and they lock, and you locked out, you get detention hours. So just don't, don't be fooling around in the hallway. You don't gotta run. Don't be fooling around though. <laughs> if you run, you don't look stupid. Uh, don't compare yourself to other people, Matthew. You know what I'm saying? And anybody like. They say this person got this on the test and you got that on the test. But don't be like, oh, why they got this and I got that. Nah, 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 nah. Y'all, everybody different. You learn different. You work different. You do everything different. So don't compare yourself to nobody else and try to be like somebody else because you're trying to, you know, I don't know. Just, just don't do it. Be yourself. Shit, you learn different. You, you probably learn slower, faster, whatever, whatever the case is. And everybody ain't going to be your friend. Everybody ain't going to like you. I mean, nobody like my ass with my little five friends that I had. So everybody ain't gonna be your friend. Everybody ain't gonna like you in this. This facts and this okay. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. What the fucking do? That's cool. Like who gives a fuck? Complete your homework as soon as possible. What I mean is not like a homework where it's like uh, it's assigned on Monday, due next day. Not talking about homework where like they assign it on Monday and it's due Friday. Do that shit Monday if you can. Like. Why wait till Thursday to cram that shit in one night and you not looking stupid? You could just bring it the shit, got over with. But nah. But <laughs> learn from my mistakes. <laughs> learn from my mistakes. Like I and here go another one. Don't study the night before. A test. You got all this time. And most classes that you went back through, they got schedules on the um website that we got for our school. And some of y'all probably got that too. I don't know. But it tell you when your test is, when the quiz is, all this shit. So if you if you want to study for a test, it's best you do it. Like you study, like you actually study throughout the week, and then the night before do a review. Not don't don't try to study study the night before, cause you're gonna be tired as fucking get no sleep, and you're gonna be like this taking the test. So <laughs> learn from my mistakes. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. What did I say? Oh, balance school and your social life. And that since you were an athlete, you were student athlete. Student come first. So don't be trying to do, oh, I got a test tomorrow, I got to study for, but she football, I got to do this, that, and the third, so I'm going to do that for football. You a student, a student athlete. Fuck what the coach say. You are a student athlete. Student athlete. Student come first. And then social life, I mean, shit. High school ain't all about parties and stuff. We had parties in high school, but that ain't what it's all about. It ain't all about, you know, she can think it's about, Matthew. It ain't. So what I'm telling you is, what I'm trying to say. Balance your school life and your, and, your, and your social life, but don't put your social life over your school life. Balance that shit out, because they both are equally important. I think, to me, I need a social life, but now, really, I don't get no fuck, but when I was in high school, I felt like I needed a social life just to feel relevant. So, if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. If it ain't, then shit do you, but Matthew, I know you, and I'm telling you, balance that shit out. Oh, I already said that. 
Oh, Matthew, get close with your counselor because we're gonna have the same counselor next year. This year, you may have the same counselor because you're a freshman, but next year, you're gonna get a sophomore. You're gonna have the same counselor as me and me, Grant had. Get cool with her because, first of all, she real, real cool. And speaking in general, I think it's I think it's important that you get close to your counselor. So it's easier, first, first, first of all, it's easier for you to communicate with something going on with your schedule, your grades, whatever, whatever. You don't feel pressure, you don't feel like you under pressure when she's talking to you or he talking to you. Me, with my counselor, when I first met her, I was like, I don't wanna come to her and talk to her about shit, like, I don't. But now I got to know her, and then now, I, I, I like, when I, now, when I was in high school, I just went to her and ask her anything, like, I need help with this, that, and third, she help me with anything, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got close to the counselors, principal, assistant principal, student, uh, not student, campus supervisors, I got close to everybody, the school officer, I got real close to him because, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother story, y'all. But yeah, I got close, I get close with the people on campus, Matthew, because I think it's important. Um, don't let one bad class period ruin your day. Like, I'm telling you, you got first period, you know what I'm saying, the teacher being a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Don't let her ruin your day, because if one class ruin your day, your whole day gonna be ruined. And every class is gonna be, you know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, because you're my brother, but trying to make it work. Other people know what I'm trying to say. If you let one class fuck up your whole day, let's say you like me, you catch attitude. You're gonna have an attitude the whole day. If you like me, you don't wanna do shit, you got an attitude. So you ain't gonna learn shit, you ain't gonna write no notes, you're gonna be sitting looking stupid. And uh, guilty. But I graduated, so <laughs> I still made it. Nigga, I made it, but not Fredo. Matthew, don't let one catch me your whole day. Cause I know how you is, you got a hot ass temper, and I'm telling you, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. Cause if you do that, you gonna be mad the whole day. You'll come home, ain't gonna know shit that happened today. You'll be calling friends, asking for notes and shit. I know my brother. The rest of y'all, I don't know y'all. So maybe it's applied to you, maybe you don't. If, and the last one, freshman year do, it does, whatever, grandma, I, I don't know, bitch, grandma, I don't, I don't, I can't, I can't English. But freshman, oh! Freshman year does count on your transcript. I don't know who the fuck going around saying freshman year don't count your transcript. Yes, the fuck you do. If it didn't count, it wouldn't be there. So it, it counts. It counts a lot, big fella. So you think you finna just suck off your whole freshman year, not do shit, and you think you finna just, like I said, not do shit, and finna get into a good state, a uh, college. Matthew, you said you wanna get into a UC or a Cal State. Not with freshman year looking like that. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a dumb little fit. Your ass gonna fuck up freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, and then you'll be able to get to Cal State, no UC. But maybe, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm bluffing, maybe I'm flash, maybe I'm assuming shit. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I got. That was for my brother. You know, Matthew, hope you enjoy your freshman year. Take everything I said into consideration. I love you, bro. You nigga. <laughs> but yeah, so that was, that was the end of my video. Don't forget to follow all my social media to be linked down in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, become part of the Ring Mafia. Um, that's it. So, peace, peace, and I heard this. I'm pretty good about this thing, and I'm out.